better. He's still having a hard time walking around, but we're hoping it, his paws will get less and less sore. See, that was a long time walking around on those big toenails. Let's see it. He eats very well. And he has a little bit of hard time pottying. Right now we're trying to find a nice balance between giving him a laxative and um, him straining to go. You can see he still has a little knot back here. Our goal is to keep this hard knot right here down. We have to do hot compresses. So yes, we have to get a lot of bass because I can't control it. Say I'm worth it. Size so doing better. And all he does is walk around drinking, eating, and pooping. So that's pretty much my life, isn't it? Life of a doggy. He can go from bed to bed now when he wants. He has, uh, he has came through a lot. He went from having to be in a bumper uh, crate, pads all the way around it because he couldn't stand on his feet. But now he's even making it past all these rough doggies, aren't you, Taz? So I'm a fighter, yes. Say, so I'm going to get my bowels straightened out so I'll be an adoptable doggie. Won't you, baby? He's deaf, but he can see very well out of his right eye. And I think he sees shadows out of the left eye. like a little penguin the way he walks, aren't you, baby doll? Taz is only 10. Has no problem with not having any teeth. He eats uh, whatever he wants. Of course, we don't give him peanuts. But he does eat dry food. He just gets it in his mouth. He flops it in there gets it on his tongue, don't you, Taz? It's going to be a while before we can get Taz potty trained because he has to be able to control his bowels first. <laughs> I think he's cute as a button. Come on, Tazzy, you're going to be running pretty soon, aren't you, boy? It might sound silly, but he's doing wonderful compared to when we got him when his toenails were an inch and a half in these paw pads and had eight tumors to be taken off. A tooth to be pulled, an eye infection, an ear infection. He's even lost part of his ears due to this severe infection. He's lucky to be moving around at all. And he is a doll baby, aren't you, Taz? Hey, that's our update on Taz. Yeah, I'm doing fine. That's all you are, isn't it, fella? Say, so I'm a good boy. Yes, he is. Nate is such a good boy. He gets so excited when you come home. He wants to nibble all over your legs. Yes, he does. He's a pretty boy. Aren't you, Mr. Nate? Nate plays well with the other guys. Sometimes they're a little rough for him because his back legs have a problem. He has a birth defect. Look, you look like a wild man today, Nate. Yes, his hair stays that way. Say so we give him a bath and brush him, but his hair likes to lay back wherever it wants. We're going to get him some moose, aren't we? Will you be our punk rock doggy? Will you be our punk rock doggy? You're a baby doll. Are you a baby, Nate? That's my Nate. Nate gets nervous around people he doesn't know. It doesn't take him long to bomb with you. you. Pick him up and hold him. He'll just give you an awe. Uh, give you a hug. Likes to stay right by his person. Gets nervous even when I go in the other room. So he'd like to have someone who's home with him a lot. And I'm sure once he gets used to being uh, taken care of. He wasn't. Nate came from my hoarding case of, uh, I believe there were 22 dogs in the house. He's doing great for that. He does so well with the other dogs. He's not had one fight in this house at all. They play well together. And if they play too rough for him, he just every comes over and sits down by mommy.